are older people or younger people more likely to get symptoms after the Pfizer or Moderna COVID vaccines? And by the way, what are these symptoms uh, that people tend to get and how long will they last if you get them? And finally, are you more likely to get symptoms after the first dose or the second doses of the Pfizer or Moderna COVID vaccines? Guys, I got these answers and more. I am giving you the lowdown, <laughs> um, the breakdown on symptoms after the Moderna and Pfizer COVID vaccines. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cotter. Uh, I'm a practicing family physician and an on-air health expert and video creator. We are going to break it down today. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in content like this, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Okay, let's jump right in. By the way, let's start talking about what the symptoms are that you might experience after getting your COVID vaccine. By the way, we know that a number of people will experience symptoms. I'll tell you about how many do, um, but um, they can be what we call local symptoms or systemic. The local symptoms include things like pain at the injection site, some swelling or redness at the injection site, or some um, what we call axillary lymphadenopathy. That's sort of where I'm pointing in the armpit area. You can get swollen lymph nodes on the same side as the arm uh, that you got vaccinated. Okay, those are the local symptoms that sometimes people get. But sometimes people get what we call these systemic symptoms as well. This is things like fever, fatigue, headache, chills, muscle aches and pains, things of that nature that can happen as well. And by the way, guys, you know, well, I did get my COVID vaccine. I got the Moderna vaccine. I did a series. Uh, you can check it out on Facebook and on YouTube uh, about my vaccine experience and the symptoms I had afterwards. I had both types of symptoms, both local and systemic symptoms. Make sure you check that out to see what I had because I did have them. So now I know you're wondering, as you're preparing to get your COVID vaccines, you're wondering, how likely am I to get any symptoms at all? Is it most people that get symptoms? Is it few people? What, what's the deal? What should I expect? Well, um, according to the CDC, uh, depending on the vaccine product, whether it's Moderna or Pfizer, uh, also the age group, vaccine dose, all that kind of stuff, approximately 80 to 89% of vaccinated people experience at least one local symptom, right? That's ma mainly dealing with the arm. And 55 to 83% of people experience at least one systemic symptom following the vaccine. So that's really important to keep it, uh, keep note of, by the way. There's actually a lot of people who will experience symptoms. But I'm doing these videos to tell you what you might be able to expect so it doesn't alarm you should this happen. And it won't alarm other people around you either. Remember that most of the symptoms that people get after getting vaccinated with the Moderna or Pfizer COVID vaccines are mild to moderate in severity. That's a good thing, okay? And they use usually happen within the first three days of vaccination, and they usually resolve uh, within one to three days of coming on. And by the way, I'm reading from the CDC, just so you know where my source is, but guys, that happened to me exactly. Like I pretty much was textbook that. Um, I had symptoms within the first three days and it resolved within one to three days of onset. So, uh, and this is happening for a lot of people, those certainly who uh, may and, and do get symptoms after the vaccine. Okay. Now I know you're also wondering who's more likely to get these symptoms? Is it older people or younger people? Interestingly enough, the symptoms are more frequent and severe uh, among younger people compared with older people. Very interesting, right? And you may be wondering, okay, am I more likely to get symptoms after the first dose or the second dose of Moderna and Pfizer COVID vaccines? Well, actually, the symptoms are also more frequent and severe following the second dose. Um, guys, this is really important for you to know. I just want to keep you updated so, again, you know what to potentially expect so it doesn't alarm you, it doesn't scare you. Remember that unless you experience a contraindication to vaccination, meaning there's a reason why you absolutely cannot get it, and by the way, your doctor will walk you through that, um, the CDC does recommend that even if you get these uh, symptoms, you should complete the series. It's very, very, very important. Uh, don't let these local or systemic symptoms, the ones I talked about at the beginning of the video, don't let these discourage you from completing the series. It's so important. Guys, so don't be be afraid. The most important thing is to be knowledgeable and to be informed. And that's what this is all about. Guys, make sure you get your COVID vaccines. Okay. Super, super important. Guys, I hope this video was helpful. Please share this with other people. Um, and if you like content like this and want more of it, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Also, there are special perks like uh, discounts on merchandise such as this t-shirt um special perks with uh with joining my subscribers group so please check that out as well guys i'm dr jen Cottle. i'll be back soon